Hello, Soul Family. Kale here. So I just wanted to pop in. I've been getting so many similar questions about Reiki and what it is since my Reiki master attunement a couple weeks ago. So Reiki energy is the universal life force energy that lives within all of us. It is a non-physical energy. It is something that we are all born with. And every single living organism has this energy. It is our divine birthright, so we all have it. Plants, animals, humans, all of us. And no one of us has more Reiki energy than the other. It's simply learning to tap into this divine energy source within you, harness its powers, and then use it to heal and influence your life as well as the lives of others. So a lot of people who are unfamiliar with what Reiki is, essentially I kind of describe it as we've all had like the good vibe or bad vibe feeling where a person walks into a room and we might not even know them, but we just get this instinctual or gut feeling about the person, whether it be uh, good vibes or bad vibes. We've all had this experience at one time or another in our life. So that essentially is your intuition guiding you. You're feeling their human energy and you're receiving it or sensing it within your body. That in its most simplest form is what Reiki is. And when we learn how to tap into this energy and really harness its powers, it can do some amazing things for our life. So Reiki energy has been known in several cultures. It's known in Japanese culture as Ki energy, in Chinese culture as Qi energy, in many Asian cultures as Prana, and in most Western cultures and religions, it's known as the Holy Spirit. So it's something that's been around for centuries. It's something that a lot of different cultures and religions have practiced for thousands of years. And we do carry this energy around in our bodies every single moment. It's been inside of us since the moment that we were conceived. And so therefore, it is essentially just our divine birthright and guiding life force. We all have it. We just need to learn to tap into it. Now, there is science backing the experiments and exercises around Reiki and energy healing. So science has developed a camera that can see the energy, the human energy field, the aura, essentially. And it's called the Krillian Photography System. And this allows us to see the energy which is inside of us. And as we start to move and channel this energy, this is allowing us to really see the human energy field, the aura of the human energy energy field. And this changes colors. It can have different vibrational wavelengths to it. It can be extended out away from the body really far, or it can be very close to the body. And these are all things that we can see with that Krillian photography system. Uh, this is pretty new technology for what it's worth, but many ancient cultures have tapped into the powers of Reiki and energy healing for centuries, like I've mentioned. And it's such a beautiful modality to learn to practice because it can be so healing and guiding for yourself. But when you also become a Reiki practitioner, you can help guide and heal the energy of others. Now, I will say this. So in my journey, I was uh, first a energy healer practitioner in 2017, and then I was attuned as a Reiki level one and two practitioner in 2019. And then just a couple weeks ago here in 2020, I was uh, attuned as a Reiki master. And with that being said, I know there's like the, the healers, um, term is put onto that. And I don't necessarily subscribe to being a healer. I simply see myself as a guide. I don't heal your energy. I guide your energy, but I do all of this with the help of my willing participant or client. So if you are or my client in a Reiki session, then you 100% are willing and accepting of the guidance that I provide. And that's all that I simply do is channel energy through my own body I use my intuition, my divine guidance, and allow my Reiki energy and channeled Reiki energy to be guided through you as well. So there are similar energy practices uh, to Reiki. Uh, tai Chi is one, Feng Shui, 
uh, yoga, acupuncture, meditation. There's so many different modalities that help channel and guide Reiki energy. And you're probably familiar with a lot of the ones that I've just mentioned. And essentially what these modalities do is they allow you to move and channel energy throughout your body. And this energy is a pure energy. It is an all knowing, all seeing energy, always present energy. So when we learn to tap into this energy, this allows us to think more clearly, to have better intuitive guidance. It allows us to make better choices that are in alignment with our higher self. And this basically just allows us the natural ability to connect easily with our higher self so that we are living a life of abundance and alignment to our true calling. And this can help you balance emotions. This can help you heal from depression. This can help you have better relationships, a better self-image. This can allow you to heal from past trauma, understand your triggers. It can help you learn emotional intelligence. It can help you learn to manage your emotions and also reinforce more positive habits within your life. So Reiki energy is so powerful. If you've never received a session, there's not much that you have to do. All that you need is to be here, present, and willing to receive the Reiki energy as I guide it through your body. Um, I can also do distance Reiki, which is uh, we could do virtual sessions via Zoom, or we could do uh, true distance, which does not even require a Zoom or virtual meeting. I simply channel energy. Um, through air, essentially. I find in my own practice that in-person Reiki sessions are the most powerful. I find that I am the most intuitively connected with my client during these sessions, and we have the most profound breakthroughs and transformations happen in in-person sessions. Uh, if you've never received a Reiki session, essentially what it looks like is you lie on a massage table and you know, there are crystals around, sage may be lit, Palo Santo may be lit. Uh, there could be sound healing incorporated as well with sound bowls or gongs. And I am simply guided through my own divine guidance and my intuition as to what my client needs, what energy systems, uh, even chakras need to be balanced, uh, what, which areas of the body might even be blocked. Uh, or have some illness that need to be removed out of the body. And you basically just lie there and relax. But during a Reiki session and even after a Reiki session, a wide range of emotions can come up. I've had clients uh, say that they've been the happiest they've ever been after a session. And I've also had the same client you know, need to cry during or after a session to process some emotions that come up. So the beautiful thing about Reiki energy is that we might have an intention set for the session, and this is our cognitive um, guidance, our cognitive process of what we believe we might need to heal or purge or uh, become more aware of or awaken within us. But we are always divinely guided by our spirit guides and our higher self. So even though we might set an intention for a Reiki session, sometimes other things might come up. And that is the beauty of Reiki, is we are balancing, aligning, healing, and removing anything that is not for our highest and best good. So if you've never received a Reiki session, I would absolutely be honored to provide you with more information on Reiki and allow you the opportunity to make the decision if this is right for you. So of course, if you would like to receive a Reiki session, whether it be distance or in-person Reiki here in San Diego, please just let me know. I'd love to connect further. And in love and light, I hope this helped answer any of your questions. But of course, if you have any other questions, please just let me know.